Hi there. So this is my online store and I have different categories on which I can click and then I can see the items arranged under it like this. So different products can be arranged under different categories, which helps customers find what they need. We'll use a free plugin to set this up on your site. But before that, you should know that adding more plugins and more features slows down your site over time, and then your visitors will start getting stuck at loading screens like this, which will lose you a lot of traffic and money. So first, let's just take a minute. Let us go open Google PageSpeed and add your website URL to it. And if you get a score less than 90 like this, then your site is already too slow and we need to fix this before we do anything else. Now there's a few speed plugins in the market, but they're either paid or they have hundreds of settings, which makes my head roll. So my team made our very own speed plugin called Airlift, which is completely free. Unlike me, they've built successful plugins before, so you can trust that they know their stuff. So after installing Airlift, you just need to add your site and then it starts doing everything needed to make your site up to three times faster so that you can get a 90 plus score like you can see here. There's no hidden conditions here. You can keep it activated for free and keep your site fast. So click the link in description and you can use it first. Then move on to the next step. All right, next, log into your WordPress dashboard, hover over products and click categories. Now we're on the category management page. This is where you can name your category. I'm going to create a category called summer essentials. Uh, it's simple, but the name is crucial. It should instantly give your customers an idea of what they'll find in it. You can also add a thumbnail for your category or edit the name of the default categories. Uh, we'll cover more of this later in the video, but for now, I'm just going to skip this and finalize it. Now click on add new category button to save the category. And that didn't take much time, right? Now, after setting this up, it's time to assign products to it. So let's click here to go to a products page, go to each product and tick the box to select it. Now click here and select edit and hit apply. Now here, let's choose the category and hit update. It's as easy as that. Now your new product category is ready. So let's go back to our website and we can see that the category hasn't been added to the menu. So we can do that by clicking customize here Then click on menus, choose main menu. And here you can see the items of the current menu. So to add your product category here, click on add items, then choose the product category tab. You should see a drop down box with all your categories. So I'll choose the category we made and hit the publish button here. And that's it. Your website now has a new product category and is good to go. In the same way, you can create as many categories as you want. Now let's come back to our website and here we can see the new category and the products under it. Just like that, we can create any other categories you want. Now, once that's done, we can also set up a sidebar like this to see all of our categories quickly. So to do so, click the customize button here, then click the sidebar button and you should see the sidebar options, but it can vary depending on your theme. So I'm gonna select the left sidebar here. Now to display our product categories in this sidebar, let's go back and select widgets. Let's click on WooCommerce sidebar, click on this button. Now let's search for the product categories list and add it. Let's do that and click on publish. All right, now that we've set up our sidebar and categories, let's see how we can add subcategories, which look like this. Subcategories will indicate your customer's overall choice and give you a better idea for maximizing conversion within product categories. So to create this, go back to your WordPress dashboard, click on categories. Now let's name it here, choose the parent category and save changes. So let's go back to our website, click on customize again, click on menus, choose main menu. Now to add your subcategory as a drop down menu, click on add items choose the product category tab. You should see a drop down box with all your categories. Now I'll choose the subcategory we made and move it here. Now let's hit publish. All right, I'm gonna refresh my site and we should see the category we made here. Uh, let's hover over it and we will see subcategories like this. So let's click on it and we can see the sidebar in action with all of our products here. Let's take Adidas's website as an example. Adding category thumbnails like this is very effective in improving the user experience. So the WooCommerce platform provides a default category thumbnail like this, but we can change this into an image of your choice. Uh, let's go back to the category dashboard. Choose the category you want. Click on edit and select upload add image. Add your image here. Select the update button. You can continue to do the same for each category. We can also make more categories like featured products to make it stand out for your customers. So let's hover over products. Select all products, 
choose the particular products that you want to be featured. Uh, click here, choose edit and hit the apply button. Now change the featured box to yes like this and click update here. Now another method is to click on the star icon here in the featured column to add your product to the featured category. Also, don't miss this video where I used a free speed plugin that can triple any site speed. So click here and I'll see you there.